Hello my friends, it's been a while since last time I went shelling. So today I'm here, you see water is calm. I'm actually waiting for my friends. They are running late, water is calm. I was getting worried that it would get choppy as day goes on. So I'm sitting, looking around, waiting for them. And finally they did show up. They had an excuse, it had to do with food. So they came back with good food for lunch. So they are excused. So today um, we are going to the island. And um, of course, one of the fam first thing that we see either is a walk or angel wing. It's going to be interesting this trip here. It's uh, something that, you know, uh, happened here that's going to be really cool. So looking forward to go walk with you guys and show you guys a few cool things. And the coolest thing today. One of the things I see today is federal crabs. Look at them. The males are with big claws. Now one thing is about the males. They have one tiny claw and one big claw. Females have two small claws. The two small claws or small claws are the only thing that they use to eat. So males actually don't get as much nutrition and as much food as females. Females get more because they have two small ones. Males do have the big one. They wave them around and they they fight each other. And uh, But... Um, they are eating almost with one hand. While going after those fiddle crabs, I got stuck in the mud to my knees. So I had to wash them. Be careful walking there, guys. I'm experienced. I got myself out. But uh, just, you know, you got to be careful. And so what do we have here? We also have this thing. It's called uh, marsh periwinkles. These marsh periwinkles, what they do, they cut holes in, uh, on these leaves here and they culture this fungi that they eat from so they c they actually farm their own food uh, the only reason they are they go up these leaves to stay away from blue crabs to stay away from uh, uh, terrapin turtles or uh, anything that tries to eat them so and uh, so they climb on those things and they can stay actually out of the water for days and uh, they're cool interesting looking things Now I'm picking up uh, driftwood or anything that I see, but uh, and today is like, I don't know, it's just like, I don't see a lot of things. I think somebody probably was in this area and picked up some shells because, or it could be this time of year in the summer, you don't see a lot of shells, in the winter you see more of them. And this one, I, I wasn't sure what it was, it's, it's metal, it could be from a ship from crab trap it could be for anything and oysters grow um, on it so. you see them here what? this is shells all of these shells are alive look at them that's alive look at them oh, crab in it. so yeah look at them so you can't you know what i mean i'll leave them because i don't tell those are all alive is that no they are all alive here that one is alive too? All of them here. They are all yeah, something yeah. inside them. Look at them, they are inside them. No, because they are eating algae. The ones from the top over there, that's what they are here. Look at them. They are all alive. They are eating this algae. You see this here? Yeah. And they are just waiting for tide to change. Look at them. They are everywhere over there. Woo! Look at them, they are everywhere here. Look at them. Yeah, these are all babies. They're they're all all alive. Babies, this right? is a tulip, yeah, that's tulips in here. Is there one? Yeah, oh yeah. All of them are, they have to be. Look at this one here. Look at them sticking oh, out yeah. there. Oh, Lord. They're all alive. Uh, you won't find them here though. Those you find them over there. On the top. You have to look over there. Yeah. Okay. 
it is very amazing how all of these hermit crabs are in one area here. Uh, I put them right next to each other. I'm sure they probably just want to say hello to each other or fight each other. They fight over shells. If they see another one that they like, and they usually fight each other. I've seen them do that. Now here you can see all kind of shells that we find on this beach here, little ones here. And then most of them are uh, whelks. Once in a while we see tulip shells, or we see the uh, shark eyes, um, true tulip, channeled whelk. Barely seen channeled whelk. I don't think they like him, he's so light, uh, but uh, once in a while I see him in channeled whelk. And what else? I'm trying to remember what other shells. Uh, but you see, they don't care what the shell really looks like. Uh, as long as they are comfortable in there, they just uh, they just take it. And if they don't like it, they come here to this beach. This beach is uh, we've seen a lot of empty shells, and they come probably here also looking for to shop for a new shell. There are a lot of shells here. Now, these hermit crabs are different than the ones that you find at pet stores. They're land hermit crabs, the one that you see and they sell them on some souvenir places and all of that. Those are different kind of hermit crabs. These hermit crabs that you see here, they have to be back in the water in high tide. They can't be out of water like the other ones. Um, it's just a different kind of hermit crabs. They kind of look alike. Well, I don't know if they look alike. This one's sort of, I think, a little bit thinner. Uh, but they can use the same shells. They can use the same shells, same stuff. Uh, just uh, They are just not land hermit crabs. Let's sneak up on this one and see if we can see. There you go. He couldn't hide too far inside because the shell must be a little tight for him. Some of them can hide, right? go right inside. Now I wonder what they think when we pick him up. Uh, probably they call us bad names. Leave me alone. And look at this here tulip snail. That's the oyster drill here. They are using oyster drill shells and snails shells. Uh, those are local to here, but in some areas they are invasive. They really ruin all clam and oyster farms. They introduced them to some areas, some countries, and some states that uh, they are regretting them. They can't get rid of them. Beautiful shells. They are native to here, but uh, we have a lot of oysters and clams here. But some areas when they farm them, you don't want them to to get into your uh, farm area, oyster farm or clam farm. Now look at the next shell. This is sea robin. You see this sea robin? We catch a lot of them. Uh, on the same, look at this one. It looks like sea robin. It, it has some oysters grown on top of whelk and um, this hermit crab decided he's gonna have a fancy home. Uh, I don't think it's easy for him to really walk with all the stuff around. It's almost like, you know, with those people with big dresses on and they can't take steps with high heels. Well, it probably is not easy. But it keeps him safe. Earlier I said I barely see them inside the channel walk. But here is one, actually, that's a channel walk. And a shark eye. A whole kind of shells in one area. This is kind of 
it's kind of like a, a store here and there are some of them that are hiding inside little ones are hiding inside this whole little holes here and they are feeding And this also could be that it's a breeding season because I see a lot of things this time of year laying eggs. I see a lot of uh, turp and turtles uh, nest all over this area and uh, I see a lot of them. Now we are here in Charleston, South Carolina. Charleston County. Charleston was the fourth largest city in colonial America and also the wealthiest. Charleston also had the first public college, museum, and playhouse in the country. The first golf club in America was established in Charleston in 1787. Well, it's time to go and see what I can find over there on the top. We could have looked at hermit traps all day. I also want to go and see what my friends found. They found probably cool stuff. I can hear them. They find a few things there. Did it just break in half? Who found? Oh, it did break in half. Oh, here. It fell here. <laughs> so it's a metal, basically. Just it, it broke. It broke half, didn't it? Oh, yeah. He was attached to this. So this one looks like hollow, like a pipe. Yes. Oh, like look inside. That looks like a pipe. Let me see. <laughs> but this looks like a metal. Like a little Indian pipe? <laughs> it's a metal. I have magnets in there. We can check it actually. Like that okay. okay. Look at the other side of it. That's weird. If you hold it up in the sun, look at it. If you hold it up, look at it. Look at it. It just shines like cool. You should see the size of one I found. Oh my god. Oh. That is so cool. That is cool. Beautiful in the garden. I know, it's just cool. If you put light behind it, they will shine after it. That will shine. But it's, what is the sun? Put it, hold it against the sun and look at it. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. That is cool. Very cool. That is really cool. Finally, you found your I home. know. Oh, I got my well, for my friend was excited. She found uh, the shiny rock that I keep finding. It could be amber, it could be resin. I don't know. I don't know what it is. This is the first time actually um, she found that piece and as I'm walking of course uh, we always pick all of this trash. Uh, we actually uh, try to collect more trash uh, like in the spring and, uh, and fall when it's really not that hard to put, you know, carry them all the way to the boat. So, and this is another clam. This one is fossil. Look at this old, old clams. They don't grow like this anymore. These things here, one, one bite uh, or two bites, uh, that's it. You fall. And I don't know what's going on with this shiny thing. It looks like oil, but I don't think it's oil. I think it's fat from all of the stuff from under the whole thing, from dead bacteria, dead... I think that's what it is. It has colors. It's like all rainbow colors. I'm not sure what it is. Um, I've seen them in areas like this. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably just uh, the fat, the oil. And if you know what it is, please comment. When I see something big or something different color that is not normal, I usually go and check it. I see something white there. I don't know what it is. And I'm getting closer. And it looks like is a whelk shell. It looks like it's been bleached. And that's just turned white. It must be sitting in the sun for too long and that's what happens. Beautiful piece. That's really a nice piece. Let's see what's under this rock. You see, I have gloves on the other hand. I'm kind of smart now, huh? I keep forgetting about those gloves. I keep going without the gloves and I keep losing them. They are nice gloves. A friend of mine gave me a couple of them. They are really nice, nice gloves. I just have to carry them with me.
This area is very famous for some of the famous pirates in history. Blackbeard, Stead Bonnet, Charles Vane, Christopher Moody, Richard Worley, and Anne Bonny. In 1718, uh, Stead Bonnet, which they used to call him Gentleman Pirate, he, him, and 50 other pirates were hanged in Charleston at White Point Garden. And it was the same year, 1718, where Captain Blackbeard actually attacked Charleston, South Carolina, too. So the piracy is very famous in this area. And, uh, but they, uh, some of them, they didn't make it. So, but they walked on these beaches here before they attacked those uh, Charleston, because this is a Charleston county, and some of them probably just came around here and got ready before they went and attacked uh, Charleston. This area is covered with mussels, and those mussels are all over. I'm actually walking right next to them. And also, if one thing I can tell you about mussels, you can eat an open mussel. A mussel, if it's not open, is really doesn't mean, you know how people say, if you cook them, if they don't open, you can't eat them. No, you can eat them. Sometimes their mussels are so strong that they will not budge, and they will not open. This is a myth. And, uh, and it's been going around for a long time. But I gotta tell you this, you do, you can eat the mussels that are not open. And mussels have a lot of iron. They have more iron than a steak. Um, they also filter feed water. They are very, they clean water, they filter uh, water. Some areas actually they are invasive, like uh, Great Lakes. Zebra mussels are invasive. They keep the water really crystal clear, but they also um, not uh, native and they affect other things that are native. Uh, the mussels also, they do have male and female. They do have male and female. I'm finding all kind of fossil stuff like this. This clam, you know, they don't exist anymore. Um, there are some of them still buried under this mud and under all the stuff here right we are walking on uh, like this you see the cut here slowly next time when I come this area will be the hole will be bigger so nature is changing the whole shape of the whole thing so there are more fossils and more things under this uh, mud I am back again to this hermit crab area here. Um, on the top, there are a lot of shells that are really just shells we've seen them before, but here I'm trying to find some live ones. There are lots of hermit crabs, and I want to see if there is any shell that, I don't see a lot of them here, but most of these are common shells around here. And uh, this is a muddy area here, so I'm just, I don't know just check it out and see what we can find out here find here but I see something black here and I started to get really closer to it and I'm like oh it could be a charcoal somebody burned the wood I've seen pieces of wood before that um, part of it sticking out and I'm like okay and then I realized that this is not a wood so I uh, had to go and put my gloves on and it looks like a rock, but it's really not a rock. It does have the, uh, the look of uh, a bone. So I'm trying to dig it out. And I realize that I probably should have my gloves on because it could be oysters inside here. So I, I got excited first. I wasn't going to use my gloves. And finally, I said, you know what? Let me just go and get my gloves. Uh, and whatever that is, I... I think I know what it is, but uh, let me just dig it out, and I don't want to break it. 
if it's attached to anything. I don't know how long it's been in the water. So this one here is um, what I did. I uh, did a little bit of research about it. Is a piece from uh, the back skull of a of a whale is fossilized. Um, I did research it, and I probably should just, uh, when I get a chance uh, this week, I should add to my description exactly what part of the whale bone is. And this is fossil. It is amazing that if something that was millions of years old, and if it sits somewhere it should not be you can see it from far away it's, it looks different it's almost like going you know for a shark uh, and not for a shark tooth on the beach once you see fine you know what to look for it you can spot that shark tooth in the middle of all of the shells and even if the shells are black you will find that shark tooth right in the middle of the whole thing it's just a matter of practice i decided to really look around maybe that piece had more pieces to it and uh, actually before we left i went back and the water was a little bit higher and i started to move my foot and see if i can feel anything i know where the spot is so and i'm thinking maybe if, when i come back and uh, see if i can feel anything else there uh, i don't know so i think this is really cool i'm so excited i can't wait until i show it to my friends that's from the top of the head. Yeah. What, what did you is, find? Let me see. Is that a uh, line? Yeah, just a shell. Yeah, I found a whale bone. Wow. I'm picking up garbage. Do you want me to help? No, I'm just. You go, go ahead and do it. There's a couple of big shells over there. But I tell you what, if you go closer to the tip over there, those birds are chirping. That means there is a nest there. So oh, yeah. I would stay away from that. Yeah. Yeah, because I didn't see them, but they. Of the whale. This is a baby whale. Bro. That's it. Listen. Listen, I'm going That's a raccoon skull. Cool? That's, a raccoon. that's a raccoon skull. Hey, look at this guy here. Hold it here. That is cool. That is really yeah. cool. Back of it from this so cool. Yeah, that is really cool. I think it's a raccoon skull. That's cool. That is cool. 